Hi, this is Alisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stand. Today I'm going to show you how to make those two cards. In this tutorial, I have a lot of great tips that I would like to share with you. That's it started. Okay, so we're going to use this big background stamp. It's called Asian Flare. Um, I designed it in 2010. We have a lot of nice tutorial. We're going to use the uh, all wrapped up and the, the stamp set and the matching die set. So the same stamp, but uh, it's totally different. Um, um, different kind of design. So if you're a first uh, viewer, a first time viewer, welcome and please make sure you check our online DVD library. This is the example that we did the last tutorial. The same thing but looks totally different. Okay, I'm sure we all have a very smart impact. A very smart ink is must have for all the stamper and the crafter. But I found that when you use a very mark, sometimes you kind of lose the detail. So I figured out I tried too many different impact actually find out this gold um, pigment impact it worked well. So we're going to use at least a gold color. If you want to do the silver color you use a silver impact like this. Okay so before we apply our color we are going to do something first. Do you know what is this? This is called the embossing powder. Okay so what you can do is you can rub in your car start with embossing powder. If you don't have it, don't worry. Just use a swiffer. This is just a clean swiffer for the household. You're going to just rub your car start with swiffer. Give it a try. You will find out with and without it is totally different. And then we are going to do our background. So we are going to use the Lisa Pigman Gold Impact. It's a good idea to have a re-inker. This impact I have a, I have a more more over than 10 years. I bought this when I started my stamping um, hobby. So you want to make sure your impact is nice and juicy. And uh, if you are my follower, follower, you probably know when I ink my background stamp, I always rub, rub, and tap, tap, right? That's only for the die base impact. When you use the pigment, you got to tap, tap only. Don't rub, tap, tap. Okay, make sure all your stamp is nicely ink. If your impact is dry, you will find out you don't get this nice gold coverage on top so let's see that's nice right and then if you have a stamp positioner use your stamp positioner is good if you don't have it this is a, the other way you can stamp so make sure the side you want to stamp is the one the side you're rubbing with the swiffer okay so most of the people they will use a big acrylic block to stamp your image right but i found out sometimes when you use a big acrylic block you probably don't get a nice um, stamp image because first of all if your table is not flat and then in between your stamp and the acrylic block have some air bubbles and then it's kind of you know trouble so i found out this is a how if you watch my tutorial you find out this is the how i ink my background stamp i usually play the card stock on top of the stamp i mean ink image and then rub the back just give it a little bit massage the back and you will get a nice uh, stamp image most of the place you got the ink it doesn't really show but the, it's okay but the ink is there and then it's a good idea to have a, a tray i really don't like to use embossing because i really hate those powder go everywhere so this is what do what i do i have a, a tray here and we are going to use the detail emboss um, embossing powder kind of just put on top okay and then Kind of remove the extra powder here. Look, this powder really don't like it. Okay, and then I have this baking sheet tray. It's very helpful because the embossing is actually the heat gun is actually pretty hot. You know, and especially this paper is kind of small. You don't they, they don't have a place to to hold your paper. So this is what I do. I have a um cooking tray and then that way I don't have to worry about the you know burn my mat okay, okay so that was the first tip to show you how to get the perfect detail embossing um, image 
and the um, and the, I really don't like the embossing, so I try to do it at my friend's house. Okay, the second tip is Lee is our stamp um, or all wrapped up stamp set. On the left side, this is called the shadow stamp. The shadow stamp is perfect to use the markers. And on the right side is a detail stamp. The detail stamp, most of the people, they stamp the outline and they spend the time to coloring, right? I'm gonna show you how to use your background to create something like leaves. It's very elegant, very classic, and looks really pretty. That work well if you have a detail stamp, if you have a detail die cut, that's a perfect to create your own background pattern, paper pattern image. Okay, so at this time, I'm going to use this Platinum Planet. It's kind of like a silver color, like a light silver. Okay. Look, it's very, very um, soft co um, color, but it's really pretty. So this one is the one I done with the Platinum Planet, and this one I did with gold. So they all work well, but uh, when I make this, uh, uh, when I make this sample card, I try all different colors, and I found out um, this is a gold color on the regular cardstock, and this is that. Platinum planet color. It looks on the vellum, so it looks uh, it's very pretty. And I'm going to share my third tips with you. Okay, so one more thing before we move to the next step. So after you stamp this uh, um, background with uh, this platinum planet, right on the vellum, you got to make sure you're going to dry with a heat gun first um, before you put the other image on top because this is what happens. See, I didn't really completely dry and I stamp image and here pick up all the powders. So I'm lucky that because be, um, behind this uh, outline image, it doesn't have, a, a didn't pick up any powders. So you want to have a clean image, make sure you dry the background first and then um, stamp your second image. See, it's not pretty. It kind of create a, like a mo my own fabric for this uh, kimono. That's really pretty and I'm going to die cut it. Okay, here is the other great tip I think you might want to know. This is a vellum. The vellum is actually very thin and then when I when I die cut it because it's too thin, they kind of cut too much. So this part is become kind of loosing. Don't worry about it. If this has happened to you, all you have to do is just use the invisible tape and then tape the back. The tape is invisible so you don't see it and that's it. Isn't that nice? Okay, so this is uh, what it look like. It's very elegant, very, very pretty, right? Okay, so if you ask me why I didn't do the black outline, I used the gold, I did it. I found out the black outline is just too heavy and that it doesn't go with this car. So this is uh, done by the volume, I stamping on the volume, and this is on the regular car stuff. They're all pretty, but when I put this volume, on top of this black car star, it's kind of just not right. Like something's missing because it's a vellum in the, it's kind of seeing through. So it didn't really pop out what I want. So what I do is I use the same die cut and then I cut a piece of regular cardstock and then I am going to use a makeup sponge. If you have the magic mushroom, try to not use your magic mushroom because once when this metallic color get on the sponge, it's so hard to get rid of it. So just once while I want to use it, so I just use a makeup sponge and then pick up some gold color and I just give a little bit touch up here around it. Just like that, very simple and easy. Just a little bit, not too much. And then I am going to just uh, glue my vellum on top. You don't have to like completely glue it. You can just glue it a little bit, kind of create a layer like this. And I think it end out to be so pretty. So this is a platinum planet. It's kind of like a silver color. And this is a gold. 
which one you like the best. Okay, so this is today's tutorial. If you like, make sure you subscribe our YouTube channel. channel. Just click that little uh, motorcycle on your right side buttons. And uh, we are going to give you a little bit preview for the, our next tutorial. This is our next tutorial. We're going to show you how to use your die cut to make your own stencil. Stay tuned. This is Lisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stamp. See you next time.